Hi, I'm Michael from My Wonderful Walls. In this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to transform your child's room using the Forest Friends Stencil Kit. For the base coat, you can use interior latex paint. I prefer semi-gloss or satin for children's rooms because they're easy to clean and work great with the stencils. Hills make a great addition to a mural, and if you want to paint them, they're very easy to do. Here's how. After painting the sky color, use a piece of chalk to mark out approximately where your furniture will be. This is important because you want your mural to rise above the furniture and be visible. Then use your chalk to sketch the hills. After you have your chalk lines just right, go back with a roller and paint in the hills. Once your base coat is completely dry, it's time to start stenciling. Carefully peel the stencil off the backing paper. Bend one corner of the stencil to make it easy to remove from the wall. Place the stencil on the wall and rub it down lightly with your hand, making sure that all the inner edges are down. Dip your brush into the paint, making sure not to get too much paint on the brush, otherwise it might bleed under the stencil. Two light coats work much better than one thick one. Use a padding or stabbing motion to paint, particularly around the edges. If you use a back and forth motion, the paint could work its way under the stencil. Once the paint is semi-dry, remove the stencil. It's that easy. In order for these larger stencils to hold their form, they require plastic bridges, which leave some unpainted space. So when you're done, just go back and paint them in. When reusing the stencil, place it on the wall and use a paper towel to pat down the top. This will help keep the stencil clean as you reuse it. Now let's paint in the rest of our little scene. To make it easy to paint the eyes, we've included an outline of the character's head and some carbon paper. First, cut out the character's head. Align the cutout with the painted character on the wall and tape at the top. Place the carbon paper under the cutout, dark side down, and trace the eye. Remove the cutout and the carbon paper, and with the outline you just made, go back and paint it in with a fine tip brush. Well, that was very easy and a lot of fun. I really love the style the Force Frame Mural brings to a room. It's a very flexible design that works great for boys or girls. And now that you've seen how easy it is to do, I hope you're inspired to have a lot of fun painting your own wall mural. Happy painting!